with the Big Bang Orchestra, Neptune and Orion, dedicated woodwind recordings are introduced to the Big Bang Orchestra product category. Big Bang Orchestra Orion has three flutes, three oboes, three clarinets and three bassoon ensembles, while Big Bang Orchestra Neptune contains the tutti sections, all woodwinds in unison within the range of each instrument section. All instruments have been recorded in Stage A of Synchron Stage Vienna, capturing the beautiful acoustics of this room. And all our recorded microphones can be found in the Mix tab. So it's easy to customize your sound and make it fit your arrangements. With the tutti sections in Big Bang Orchestra Neptune, all articulations are available with and without the piccolo flute. All woodwind sections in Big Bang Orchestra Orion come with our famous legato.
Okay, so let's take a closer look at how Cristiano Albergini used those two beautiful woodwind libraries. He has selected the following Big Bang Orchestra products. Big Bang Orchestra Neptune and Orion for the woodwinds, Big Bang Orchestra Jupiter, Copernicus and Hercules for the brass sections, Big Bang Orchestra Fornax for the big timpani, high gongs and low bells and piano, and Big Bang Orchestra Lyra and Masca for high and low strings. In this video we will obviously focus on woodwinds, but of course you can find more video walkthroughs, tutorials and screencasts on the product pages at vsl.co.at and on the Vienna Symphonic Library YouTube channel. For each section, Cristiano chose different variations of the provided mixer presets. For the woodwinds, he used the classic room mix mixer preset, the default setting when you first load a preset. For brass, the classic surround to stereo mixer preset sounded great to him, the same for big timpani and high gongs, while for low bells and piano, he chose distant surround for a more spacious impression and he picked the classic decatree mixer preset for the strings. These choices were made to create a more distinctive section placement, but also to shape the kind of sound he was looking for. The versatility of our products make it easy to adapt to different mixing situations. For Cristiano's example, they have helped to write passages that could also be performed with soloists and not necessarily with ensemble sections. But as you've heard, these ensemble libraries are fitting his arrangement choices and have increased the symphonic effect providing an authentic and engaging sound, and the listener will be surprised to see a rather modest score with actually very few staves. For the low brass, BBO Hercules, Cristiano used articulations with and without the contrabass tuba, and without the need to create a track for this instrument. Now, let's check the first two bars of the bassoon section and focus on the phrasing. Cristiano activated velocity crossfade to control the crescendo on the long notes. Then he alternated between the available short note articulations with agile and bold short notes to differentiate the repetition notes in staccato from those in octaves. Cristiano also used MIDI CC1, his modulation wheel, to work on the dynamics, while MIDI CC11, expression, was used to control the volume by checking the dB on the channel strip. MIDI CC30 controls the dynamic range of the instrument and Cristiano leveled the decibels of the articulations according to his taste and it was important to have the bassoon placed prominently in the mix being the melodic part in the foreground. In response to the staccato notes of the bassoons, he wrote a melodic legato part with a crescendo and diminuendo of the clarinet section. Mm -hmm. 
At bar 14, Cristiano also made use of MIDI CC3. In this case, MIDI CC3 allows to control the marcato level. This is very useful to be able to switch from a non-marcato to a marcato attack for authentic phrasing, so there's no need to insert key switches continuously, but we'll simply use MIDI CC3 to get the job done and benefit from the variation. To make the oboes even more impressive, he used MIDI CC22, which increases or decreases the attack time. A very useful and powerful parameter. And in the following bars, for the staccato articulations, Cristiano chose to use the velocity of each note instead of control change one. While for melodic phrasing, he reactivated velocity crossfade. So he is alternating the dynamic control for the legato and staccato moments. To do this, he used MIDI CC28, the default MIDI CC that is used to turn velocity crossfade on and off. Now let's see how Cristiano used the three flutes of BBO Orion. He wanted to adapt the repetition notes for the ensemble in BBO Neptune in unison. So in the first two bars of those repetitions, he added an ascending scale of the flute ensemble. When the flutes finish the scale on A flat, that A flat is the same note played by the Tutti woodwinds of BBO Neptune. Using the Tutti ensembles this way saved a lot of time, although it sounds like a lot of work. Welcome to the world of our Big Bang Orchestra. When the flute ensemble starts the melodic phrasing, they attack on the last repetition note of the Tutti Woodwinds. Cristiano then continued those repetitions in octaves to leave some space for the range of the flute ensemble. The perfect place to position the melody. All Vienna Symphonic Library products can be used in a very simple and intuitive way and the versatility of the libraries themselves and the ease of use of our Synchron player makes composing and arranging a very enjoyable process. What's more, with products from the Big Bang Orchestra series, you can create great orchestral effects in close to no time. Thanks for your attention. Feel free to explore all our products on our website vsl.co.at or talk to our chatbot Arnold. All the best from Vienna. And have a great day.